Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to have a look at the DJI OSD, not the WTF hack where you get all the extra bits on the screen. This is the, the standard iNav DJI OSD, uh, which is all I'm using. We're using iNav 6 at the moment, it's soon to be updated to 6.1, but this is uh, relevant for 6. Now I was having problems uh, getting the extra items to show up in the craft name area down here without the craft name showing up as well and random extra uh, information that I didn't want. Um, so I finally worked out how to do it properly. So the first thing you need to do is select craft name here. So you do want to show the craft name on screen. Uh, it will show as craft name initially, but fear not, it won't actually show as craft name when you're flying, hopefully. So in craft name, you don't put anything. That's the big change now. You used to have to put the uh, the colon and uh, initials like WTE or whatever. Now you don't put anything in craft name. Then scroll down and on under the DJI HD FPV menu, we choose uh, this one, use craft name for messages and additional elements and elements in blue will appear in the craft name. So this is sort of the new section. So now if we hide all the unsupported elements, now we can choose anything here. The black ones will appear on the screen. The blue ones will appear in this craft name space here and it will scroll through all your blue selections depending on what you choose here. Uh, so at the moment this is saying it's going to scroll through every three seconds or 30 tenths, tenth seconds. That may be too much. I might change that to 50. Save. So just going through that again. Don't put anything in the craft name there. All the black items that you choose will show on the screen and you have to align them however you want so they show nicely in your screen, which is not necessarily the same as this screen here. All the blue selected items will, sh will alternate through, cycle through the craft name area there. For example, in mine, I have, I want total trip distance, efficiency, system messages and throttle position to show up down here. These items that are in blue uh, can be anywhere on the screen. It doesn't matter. You're not actually aligning them anywhere. So they can overlap like that and you get this red warning bar there. But uh, when you hide all the unsupported elements, uh, it will just appear in the craft name space. So there you go. That's just something I've been struggling with lately and other people have as well. And the tip was you don't need to put anything in the craft name there. Happy flying. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.